considerable attention focused tonight on Karim Benzema. Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. And hello from the King Abdullah Sports City here in Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. My name is Derek Ray. Excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Al Itihad, and they take on Fulham. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. He has time to play it over. He does have pressure to deal with. And the lineup for the home side. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Bernd Leno is the goalkeeper. Leandro Trossard plays with Willian on the flanks. And the focal point in attack today, Timo Werner. Using his physical strength to shield it. Well, strong play here. Coronado. Fabinho now. Benzema. Can he make it count? And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And this is Insignia at his best. He's composed, he shows great technique, and he just smashes it beyond the keeper. Well, all eyes are on the manager. What's he going to do to turn this around? Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Palinha could be dangerous. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Trossard shielding the ball superbly. Looking for a teammate. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Conte. Oh, he's lost possession. Alexander Zinchenko. Well, very close to half time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Throw-ins given. Benzema. Well read to ease the pressure. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Trossard. Well, that's good defending. Well organised at the back. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, typically influential in the first half. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Oh, 
patience and persistence on the passing front in the name of finding an equaliser. Zinchenko. Lorenzo Insigne. Benzema. And that was a very fine read. Plenty of support here. Robinson. And there's the feed into the box. And no nonsense defensive clearance. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Oh, really hit with venom and off the woodwork. Well, that's a great shot. He just hit it with such power. I'm not sure the keeper would have got that, you know. Keeping it on the ground, slightly off target, however. Benzema. The cross is on. The cut back. Well, what a stop it was! Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Played over and dealt with it nicely. Shown inside and did just enough defensively Insigne oh, covering up defensively opportunity oh my goodness he's caught that so well a goal of the highest class fantastic technique Well, here it is again, and you have to say, this is a very good volley. His technique is absolutely perfect. Two nil here, and the ball is moving again. Fifteen minutes left for play. Palinha. Now Zinchenko, committed challenge. Igor Coronado. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Can they put it away? Well, able to survive that attacking push. Pereira. Trossard doing everything possible to keep possession. Trossard. Robinson. Might be a chance to break. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. And the keeper really reacted brilliantly. Well, from that sort of range, it's a great save, I have to say. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And the short option preferred. Has someone to play it to. Lacroix. Dumfries. On to Insigne. Conte. 
And that will be all for this game anyway, and defeat for the visitors, much to the disappointment of their supporters. They were certainly off the pace today, beaten to the board in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time. The stage is set and the tension is palpable. 90 minutes of what should be highly entertaining and absorbing for all to come. And it would take a very brave person indeed to predict the outcome. What an enticing prospect. All the action coming up on EA TV. Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's Nottingham Forest, and they face Al Nasser. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Running with the ball confidently. Aboniyi. And here's how Nottingham Forest will line up. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And introducing the visitors' lineup today, David Ospina begins in goal. Aaron Juan Bisaka starts with Alex Tellez in the wide defensive areas. Nemanja Matic starts. Can he put it away? And behind it's gone for a corner. Going for the short one. Now let's see about the cross. Just the clearance that was called for. So deflection, and it will be a throw in. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. Well, he put the cross into the right place, but no one able to finish it off. Crossing into the middle. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Marco Royce. Can he put them in front? Royce. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Bonna Sosa. Pressing like that will help the cause. And they've given him too much space. Matic. Brozovic. Very quick thinking there. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? He's protecting it well. On to Wan Bisaka. Fofana with it. Oh, 
The first half here comes to an end. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Royce failed to hang on to it. Alex Teres. Anderson Taliska. Cross fired over. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Well, the stats tell us everything. They just aren't doing enough going forward. They've been too predictable and far too slow in their build up play. They need to do something different to get the breakthrough. Yes, their creative struggles continue. They need more possession. And a decent delivery. And putting pay to the danger. Endo. And this is Royce. Well, nothing to split the two sides, but this move looks promising. Did well to clear it away. Foul there. Free kick awarded. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Not messing around with that clearance. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, they need to get bodies back. Really good, strong tackle. And it'll be a throw-in. 20 minutes to go. Seco Fofana. He continues his run, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Price. It's with Fasnacht. It needs an accurate cross. Well blocked, but he must clear it away. On to Juan Bissaka. On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? Can they forge ahead? No! And all because of the goalkeeper. Margins, margins. Well, he has done well there, but he should have won the game. They probably won't get another chance now. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, it has come to nothing. Anderson Taliska. Well, let's see about the cross. Well, when it left the boot, I thought it might have a chance of fooling the keeper, but it didn't. Marco Reis. And showing fine vision. Superbly read and executed. And there's the referee's whistle, still all square.
The stage is set and the tension is palpable. 90 minutes of what should be highly entertaining and absorbing football to come. And it would take a very brave person indeed to predict the outcome. What an enticing prospect. Join us for all the action next on EA TV. And welcome to a city that's had plenty to shout about on the football front in recent years. We're in Lyon here in East Central France. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It is Olympic Lyonnais and they face Hamburg. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And now Perisic. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. And here's the starting 11 for Lyon. Anthony Lopez begins in goal. Corentin Tolisso starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And is this the moment? Oh, that's a fine save. Well, no escape, not an immediate yellow card, but the referee deals with him now. Short corner it is. Robert Glatzel. Perisic. Back to Stindl. Saint Maxima. Showing real patience. Can they forge ahead? But then the one that fails to hit its target. Chance to attack using width. The cross is on. But a crucial intervention inside the box. Sterling. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. And he read it well defensively. Granit Xhaka. Lukeba. It's with Giroud. Tagliafico. And that was a very fine read. Sterling. Sterling, such a difficult player to thwart. That is a tackle and a half. Giroud given away again definitely look as though they want to make this move count well not giving the opposition a look in that strong play Ivan Perisic had a chance to whip it in here can't miss surely nicely saved Playing it short. Race. Keeper getting the touch. Now threat averted. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game.
Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Moving the ball more than decently, but can they take the lead? Could take the lead. Wonderful block. A good and fair challenge. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Well, they promised much on the break, but ultimately delivered little. And into the last 30 minutes now. Can he find the right pass? And he favours the inside route, but nothing comes of it. That'll be a Lyon ball. Granit Xhaka. Tagliafico. Jacker with it. And Hamburg come away with it. And into the last 20 minutes. Tagliafico. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Robert Glatzel. Ivan Perisic. Now with Rakitic. Stindl. Rakitic. Good distribution. Stindl! Now keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Strength and control, a big part of his game. On the attack, is there to be late excitement? And teammates to play it to. Stinder. Rakitic. Oh, they have it again. So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Mata. Now he must favour the cross. Olivier Giroud has just come off the wing here. Well, winning back possession. And with that, the 90 minutes have come to an end. An even contest.
the man of the moment. Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Next on EA TV. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And if this game lives up to its billing, we're in for a riveting occasion. It's Benfica versus Inter Miami. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And this is how the starting 11 looks for Benfica. Diego Carlos plays alongside Nicolas Otamendi in central defence. Canales plays with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. Chance to cross. You can almost see their opponents racking their brains. How do we stop this? This is the lineup for the visitors today. Jordi Alba plays with Sergi Roberto in the fullback positions. Sergio Busquets plays alongside Ander Herrera in the engine room. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Well, so much to like about Iago Aspas and his overall game. Stuart, in your opinion, what might we see from him this time around? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Kukchu. Plenty of support here. Joao Mario. Can he give them the advantage? Oh, a tremendous block. Pulisic has it. Christian Pulisic has lost it. Joao Mario. Onto Diego Carlos. Ander Herrera. Theme emerging of wasted possession. Alex Moreno. Martinez with it. What can they do from here? A fine reading of the situation. Alex Moreno. Kukchu. Joao Mario. It's an effective run from Di Maria. Plattered away. Rafa. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. You might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Iago Aspas, determined defending. Messi. Messi. And Pulisic has it. Canales.
Well, as expected, Benfica have had more of the ball so far, but they haven't done enough with it, particularly in the midfield areas, where their passing has been far too safe. And that needs to change quickly if they're to win this one. Kukchu. Rafa. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. And the short option preferred. And clears the danger. Martinez. Lionel Messi! And the referee blows for a foul. Long way at this, and a goal almost bewitching in its beauty. Excellent technique. Well, here it is again, and it's a brilliant strike to beat the keeper from there. It's an absolute cracker of a goal. The ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Lionel Messi. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Canales. And the flag has gone up, offside. Well, I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game, but there's still time to find that equaliser. And you have to say the crowd have been brilliant. They're still driving the team on. And just five minutes remaining. Moving into the advanced position. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Counter-attacking chance. Iago Aspas. Will they profit from this situation? An example of how to press. Di Maria. And tidy defensive play. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today. But overall, they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win.